Now you might have noticed that there was something different about that intro, namely the whole intro. Now we have some exciting news. We are really excited to announce that Easy Dita is officially Hereto. Now that's something that's actually been in the works for some time, but you might be wondering, what are the implications of this change? Well, I recently spoke with our co-founders, Patrick Bozik and Casey Jordan, about this update, and I specifically asked them about why we were making this shift and what that means for you. I think it's really important that people understand why did Easy Dita get started? We've been Easy Dita for a long time. And when we started with Easy Dita, the intention was really just that we wanted to make the process of unlocking the power of Dita much, much easier. We recognized that structured content was really the future. It was an important future. It was a big thing that was going to make a big difference to a lot of organizations and a lot of consumers that interacted with those organizations and a lot of the employees that worked for those organizations. So this all started with the belief that the power of Dita should be made accessible and that structured content was the future. But with time, we realized that we couldn't stop there. And where we've come to, and we've been moving this direction kind of for a long time, is that the mission is bigger than that. It's kind of the same tools. You know, it's still structured content, it's still enabling reuse, it's still enabling automated publishing, it's still enabling all of these things that we've been doing for a long time, but the mission is bigger. And the mission is really to build better knowledge experiences for our customers, for our customers' customers, for our customers' employees. Now that phrase there, knowledge experiences, that came up a lot in my conversations with Patrick and Casey, so I wanted to know why we couldn't just deliver these improved knowledge experiences while continuing as Easy Dita. Our mission has always been to help organizations create better knowledge experiences, which allows their employees to work more effectively, to provide better customer experiences, and ultimately be more profitable. Uh, that was the case with Easy Dita, and will also be the case with Hereto. With Hereto, though, we're really expanding this and scaling it to more parts of the organization. So one of the things that you know we like to think about is that in the future, the way that you win is you out-educate your competition. You have a smarter workforce, you're going to be more efficient, you're going to be stronger, you're going to speak more effectively. You have a smarter customer, they're going to use the things that you do and they're going to gain more value. So we're really there to push this forward. Our mission is to have our customers build better knowledge experiences and transfer all of that value to all the people that matter in their orbit, so their employees and their customers. And in this way, it's really important that we change the brand. We're not just here to make data easier and more efficient, more scalable, more capable. We're here to really build a system that's gonna support these experiences, support the people who are developing and building these experiences. And that way we wanted to have a new name, we wanted to come out and say that we're doing something which is very similar, but it's new, it's bigger, it's arguably more important, and that's Pareto. So when Easy Dita was founded, our focus was on making the power of structured content accessible to tech doc teams. But with time, we realized that our mission was actually a lot bigger, and that the entire organization, not just technical communicators, that the entire organization has a need for a content operations platform that enables a content ecosystem, which then feeds these unique and effective knowledge experiences across all of the relevant channels. And that's Hereto. So I asked Casey, based on this, who should consider Hereto and what can we expect moving forward? If your organization has trouble scaling to meet the needs of your customers, to deliver more personalized content for them in formats, languages, uh, and mediums that they uh, demand, then Hereto is going to be a great fit and can solve a lot of really difficult problems for your organization. Ditto will always be an important piece uh, of that technology stack because it is an open standard. It future proofs a lot, future proofs a lot of your content strategy, and allows you to uh, integrate that with things like AI and more automated systems and asynchronous systems in the future. So we're building off of what we did with Easy Ditto, and we're scaling it even further with Hereto. Now, as exciting as this is, it's truly just the beginning. So thank you for joining us in this journey thus far.